Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and as you know, we are doing history of English literature but in between I will be talking about some terms as well from English literature. Let's start today's uh, video and we are going to talk about types of words. If you don't know, we are doing history of English literature and I have already made uh, 8 video in this series so you can check out on channel. Types of words. First is Pindari code and because it is associated with the right of Pindar, that's why it is called Pindari codes and it has no stanza like other words but it has three parts, strophe, antistrophe and epode. Here is one shortcut to remember this thing, uh, C, okay. So S, uh, when people goes towards left and A means they are standing in a stage and uh, this is called like strophe so they go or uh, move towards left and in antistrophe uh, they go towards right and in a port they stand still and they be in center and the meaning of strophe is turn and antistrophe counter turn and epode is a stand now let's see the second one is lesbian ode or the horatian ode and no number of stanzas of similar length we have in this ode and for example we have uh, upon cromwell's return from ireland and this is written by andrew marvel this uh, type of ode, Horatian ode, was popularized by Horace Catilius. The Keatsian ode or the English ode. John Keats experimented with this ode and if we talk about uh, the structure, it has iambic pentameter and 10 line stanzas. Combination of uh, silicon quatrain, we say, we call that and uh, the rhyming scheme is AB, AB, and Italian sestet of ABC, ABC. Shelley and Keats used this kind of odes. History of odes, if we talk about, so first is Prothelemian by Spencer. Later, Dryden used that Alexander's Feast was the work, and Power of Music was the theme of this work. A song for St. Cecilia's Day and it was heavenly harmony. 18th century or we can say in, uh, in the last decades of 18th century, Thomas Gray and William Collins wrote some odes. Thomas Gray, Pindaric Ode and the Progress of Poesy and the Bard and it is related to Celtic mythology. William Collins wrote The Fire to Mercy on the political characters and to liberty. In 19th century, William Wordsworth wrote some sonnets, Coleridge wrote, uh, wrote some sonnets and Keats and Shelley. So hopefully you liked the video. If you liked the video, please don't forget to comment and uh, share and hopefully you have already subscribed the channel because we have lots of notes to discuss on this channel. So we are doing history of English literature if you like the video please do share with your friends thank you for watching bye bye take care see you in next video